follows syndrome. Please open this slide. It is a functional gastrointestinal disease disorder characterized by abdominal pain, alternate and alternate bowel habit, in the absence of, in the absence of a specific anionic organic pathology. Although microscopic inflammation has been documented in some patients, so it's a functional gastrointestinal disease, okay? The main symptoms of IBS is abdominal pain or discomfort. This discomfort uh, associated with a lot of things, we can explain that. One of them is a uh, change in uh, your bowel habits. Okay. Patients in the, with IBS may describe the abdominal pain in a lot of things of discomfort. This different discomfort, okay? Like such as sharp pain, cramping, bloating, destination, fullness, or even burning. Okay? The pain may be triggered by eating a specific food, okay? It's not like all the time comes from your like stomach or sometimes. Sometimes you from the outside, um, like, you know, eating a specific food, hot food, or sometimes when, oh, yeah, like gases, something have a gases, it's all like maybe this. The main uh, break triggered by eating a specific food. Following a meal, okay? The emotional stress. We see like a lot of medical students like, um, the irritable bowel syndrome effect on them because of the stress of studying, like uh, they can't manage the time, it's habits, okay? Like constipation or even diarrhea. Both of them, we will talk about both of them. Pharmacologic agents used for the management of symptoms. We know we have to manage the symptoms. How we can manage them? In IBS, include the following. One of them is anticholinergics. On this pathway, example, a diacolamine, a triurean, peppermint oil. Um, like uh, in the, a lot of cases, we use we do use just peppermint oil, okay? Because it's normal, it's the, like um, we can use it. It's not, it will not affect. Uh, anti diurals okay? There is anti diurals pills like lovermint, tricyclic antidepressants, okay? Now, if it's resulted from the stress, you know, uh, it will be a treat by tricyclic antidepressant. Uh, example, uh, amipramine. And also prokinetic agents, okay? And wolf forming lactates. Now we will talk about the population, okay, in the world. Population based studies estimate the prevalence of irritable bowel syndrome at 10 to 20%. And incidence of irritable bowel syndrome at one to two period, okay? This is like uh, every how many people will uh, like uh, suffer from this disease? Almost uh, one to two percent of these people. Now I will give you an uh, example for some countries, okay? I will not give the, a lot of them. Like in Western countries, IBS seems affect uh, women twice as often as men. Not just in Western countries, like uh, it's a common, like the women suffer from the IBS more than the man, okay? Because the stress and other uh, things. IBS is very common, according and up to 15% in the United States population. 15% of the uh, United States population suffer from the IBS, and as we say, like women suffer uh, as uh, twice as the man. Like, now we will talk about signs and symptoms. Manifestations of IBS are the following. First, alternate bowel habit. Second, abdominal pain. Third, abdominal bloating or destination. Okay? It is associated with two or more of the following. Okay? It's associated with what? First, related to defecation. May increase or change by defecation. Okay? Second, associated with change in stool frequency. Third, associated with the change of stall form or appearance. So, with frequency and shape or appearance or form. Now, I will explain for you about this photo. As you know, there is a relation between our gut and our brain. Some of, one of them affects on the other leg. We will talk first. The brain, uh, this region is called gut, the brain axis, okay? The brain affects on the gut, influence on motility of the gut, secretion, okay, and nutrient delivery and microbial balance. And at the same time, the gut also has, uh, has a microbial, microbiota, and it will be affected on some functional of the brain, influence on neurotransmitters, stress, and extreme mood behavior. We will talk about the management. The management 
management of this center. Management of IBS consists primarily of providing psychological support. As we say, if it's, about, if it's one psychological, or it's about the stress, we have to manage it by some pills, something like uh, go to psychological uh, therapy or something, providing support. I recommend dietary measures, okay? Like, pharmacology treatment is uh, adjective and be directed at symptoms. Dietary measures will include the following, okay? Now, the measures will include the following things. Fiber supplementation may, uh, may improve the symptoms of the constipation or diarrhea. So we have to supply fibers. This will be held very much on the, like manage these symptoms. Second, body carbon field compounds, okay? For example, citrocyl fiber cone may uh, produce less uh, flatulence than uh, silylene compounds, example, metanusia. Now, if in the water we're drinking, it will affect on the IBS. See, when you're in the stress or, or you have IBS, even the water will, uh, will be affected on your gut, it will also affect on your brain. So, during this water intake is the recommended in patients who predominantly experience constipation. So, in constipation, like we advise to do this uh, water intake, okay? But in diarrhea, it's different, okay? Caffeine avoidance may limit the city and symptom excessive reaching. Okay? So also the caffeine can affect on this uh, okay, this symptoms. We advise to like avoid coffee, like these things that have caffeine. Like there is the pills with caffeine. When someone has the IBS, we advise to avoid absolutely not taking them. Okay. Legum avoidance may decrease abdominal bloating. Also the doctor also advised like avoid the level like for me and other things. Now, I will show you this photo and explain on it. The large intestine, see, where is the IBS coming? In the large intestine, in our body. So, the large intestine is the portion of the digestive system most responsible for absorption of water. And uh, our what, uh, the water we drink it, it will be absorption on the large intestine. Okay, from, uh, from the indigestible residue of food. There is an in indigestible residue of food in our, uh, this will have in the large intestine. This water will be absorbed here in our large intestine. Okay. The elliptical value of the ileum, a small intestine, passes material in the large intestine, a decipher. Material passes through ascending, a transfer, and a descending colon. Okay? And finally, into the rectum. From the rectum, the waste uh, explodes from the body, okay? This is like a cycle that food comes to our mouth in the digestive system. There is comes from uh, outside from our body by the rectum. Okay. I bring like uh, some types of medications that help us uh, to treat this uh, type of the disorder, okay? Like, there is a Librax or a Librax side. It is um, help when we have a stress. The, when you have psychological problem associated with IBS, we can use it. But uh, but doctor should watch how many t we take. You know, like it takes just one time in the night for just uh, ten days. I ask about that because more than ten days, this will be affect very much. Okay, like make you feel lazy all the time, want to sleep. Okay, so uh, it's just take in the night one time. And there is another thing, is maloxyplas. Sometimes it becomes liquid, okay? Or sometimes it becomes as well. Sometimes the man, sometimes the layman. You take it three times in the day after having milk, okay? This one is the most main thing we use it, is colona, or the other name is gynecola. You take it three times in the day before you eating any milk, okay? It will, be, it will help you, just like that. This is the review about my uh, previous slides. Like a style of modification. Like we will affect uh, how we can treat it by lifestyle modification. Like for example, exercise and sleep, stress reduction, and dietary modification. For example, we have to use the uh, diet with a lot of fiber. It will help us. And low food map.
there is a diet is called low food now. We have to use it if we want to reduce the symptoms of IBS. There is two types, as you see, is a summary for it. It's two types, IB, uh, IBS, C, and D. Okay. C, it will be constipation, and D, it will be diarrhea. Constipation of osmotic relatives, for example, PEG. And diarrhea, dopamine, bile acid, sequented, okay? Both of them will uh, result of them, uh, we will result from them abdominal pain in the diarrhea case and the constipation. Both of them will take the, the same type of the medication, like antispasmodics in the both of them, and uh, hyoscyamine, and the most common one is peppermint oil, okay? Then, if a uh, persistent <coughs> abdominal pain or psychological symptoms, here is another case, if we like abdominal pain or psychological symptoms, there is a lot of things, like we have to use paracetamol, okay, or secretaries, or uh, also our strong, okay? This one, even add or switch to low dose TCA, okay? You know what's the TCA? Crip cycle? Yeah, exactly, Crip cycle, when you take glucose and when you digest it to have energy. Even this, uh, when you have IBS, it will be effect on tricyclic carboxylic acid circulation, you know? IBS. Here's acid cells. And my friends is from the European Gastrointestinal University. Thank you very much for